Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Last video I have explained you about break-even analysis and different concepts which are used in break-even analysis like uh, PV ratio, contribution, margin of safety, break-even point, all these concepts I have already explained. And this is the last theory video on this topic of CVP analysis. Next video I will start the problems on CVP analysis. So in examination, you may get a theory question as well as problems from this unit of CVP analysis. So don't ignore, don't underestimate the concept, the theoretical concepts. So give more concentration, listen with full concentration, then only you can be able to write excellently in examination. Now in this video, I'm going to explain you about what is marginal costing. What are the features and assumptions of marginal costing and what are the managerial applications of this break even concept? So these are the topics I'm going to cover up in this video. So before proceeding, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board. First of all, marginal costing. Actually, marginal costing is the technique of using marginal cost in decision making. So before learning what is marginal costing, you must know what do you mean by marginal cost. Marginal cost is the increase in cost or decrease in cost when the output is changed by one unit. When one unit of output is increased, there will be increase in total cost. That increase in total cost by changing one unit is called marginal cost. Similarly, if we decrease the output by one unit, how much is a decrease in the total cost? That is called marginal cost. So in specific terms, according to ICMA, Institute of Cost and Management Account in London, it has defined the meaning of marginal cost as marginal cost is the amount for any given volume of output by which aggregate costs are changed if the volume of output is increased or decreased by one unit. In the definition, the meaning is completely given. When the output is increased or decreased by one unit, how much is the change in aggregate cost, total cost? That is called marginal cost. So marginal costing is a technique of applying the concept of marginal cost in decision making. Management main function is to take the decisions and decisions can be taken with the help of information. So management will make use the concept of marginal cost in decision making that is called marginal costing. And marginal costing is a technique that, that distinguishes between fixed cost and variable cost. The first and foremost requirement or prerequisite of applying this marginal costing is the total cost should be bifurcated, separated, fixed cost and variable cost. The marginal cost is the variable cost because when you increase the output by one unit, fixed cost will not change. Fixed cost will remain same, constant. So which cost will change? Variable cost will change. So in simple words, we can say marginal cost is the variable cost. The fixed cost is the period cost. The fixed cost is not related with the production. The fixed cost is related with time, period. That's why variable cost is called the product cost and fixed cost is called the period cost. Now, uh, it's not against the marginal costing focuses on variable cost as the criteria for decision making. If the management applies marginal costing technique, then it will focus only on marginal cost or variable cost. It will not consider fixed cost because anyway, whether decision is taken or not, fixed cost should be incurred. That is irrelevant cost. The relevant cost is the variable cost. So while taking the decisions, the management will focus more on variable cost. This technique of using marginal cost in decision making is called marginal costing technique. 
Now marginal costing equation. We know profit is equal to sales minus cost. Total sales minus total cost is equal to profit. Now we bifurcate the total cost into fixed cost and variable cost. So simply we can write like this profit is equal to sales minus total cost. So in place of total cost, I am writing variable cost plus fixed cost. In simple words, profit is equal to sales minus variable cost minus into plus will become minus fixed cost. So sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost is equal to profit. So simply we can write like this profit. If you take this fixed cost to LHS from RHS, I am taking to LHS. So minus fixed cost will become plus fixed cost is equal to sales minus variable cost. The equation will be S minus V is equal to F plus P. Sales minus variable cost is equal to fixed cost plus profit. This is called marginal costing equation. Now one more thing, features of marginal costing. In examination, you may get a question, theory question regarding explain the features of marginal costing. The first feature, it's a technique of analysis and presentation of cost which helps the management decision making. First of all, this marginal costing is a handy tool to the management for taking decisions. The management requires the analysis and presentation of cost so that management can take decision. So in simple words we can say this marginal costing is a tool and technique which is used by the management for taking decisions. Secondly, all elements of cost are classified into fixed and variable cost. The first and foremost requirement of applying this marginal costing is the total cost should be divided into fixed and variable. The variable cost, marginal cost are regarded as the cost of the product. I told you there are two types of types of cost, product cost and period cost. Product cost means the cost incurred to produce the goods that is variable cost. And Period cost is the cost which is not related with production, it is related with time. Next, the fixed costs are treated as period cost. It is related to time period, monthly, per annum, etc. The finished goods and work in progress are valued at marginal costing. So if marginal costing is applied, then the value of finished goods and the value of work in progress will be calculated as per the marginal cost. Lastly, prices are determined on the basis of marginal cost. When fixing the selling price, the management will consider the marginal cost. So marginal cost will be very much helpful in fixing the selling price. So these are the features of marginal costing. The next question which may be asked in examination is, what are the assumptions of marginal costing? The first assumption, all elements of cost of production, administration, selling and distribution can be segregated in fixed and variable. The first assumption is all the cost, whether it is the cost of production or administration cost or selling and distribution cost. All the different fun uh, I mean functional costs can be divided into fixed and variable. Without this, we cannot apply marginal costing, first assumption. Second, variable cost remains constant per unit irrespective of the level of output and fluctuate directly in proportion with output. Next assumption is the per unit variable cost will remain constant whatever be the level of activity whether you produce one unit or 10 units or 100 units the variable cost per unit will remain constant whereas the total variable cost will change proportionately with the output. So higher the output, higher variable cost, lower the output, lower variable cost. But per unit variable cost will remain constant. Next one, the selling price per unit remain constant for all levels of activity. And the assumption is the selling price will not change. Whether we produce and sell 1000 units or 100 units or 10 units, the selling price per unit constant. Then fixed cost remains constant for the entire volume of production. Another assumption, the fixed cost is not going to change in the short run. The fixed cost is going to remain fixed. Last one, the quantity of output is a major determinant which affects cost. The major item which affects the cost is the quantity. So when you change the quantity, it will have a direct impact on the cost. 
So these are some of the assumptions of marginal costing technique. The last topic in this video is managerial application of break-even concept. This marginal costing, <coughs> CVP analysis, break-even concept, these are very much useful to the management for taking a number of decisions. We cannot give an exhaustive list of cases where management will apply marginal costing to take the decision. So many problems will, issue, uh, will arise. So here in examination, you may get a question, explain some of the application areas where management will use marginal costing technique. In which area this marginal costing technique will be used by the management to take the decision? So I am giving I have taken few examples of the areas at which we apply marginal costing technique. First one is fixation of selling price. One of the important decisions every management has to take is fixing the selling price. The selling price should be carefully fixed, otherwise. The objective cannot be achieved. If arbitrarily, carelessly, a high fixed price is fixed, then what will happen? The demand will come down. No customer will come forward because it is costly. High price we have fixed. Suppose arbitrarily if we fix low price, the business cannot get profit. So both are bad. The price should not be high, the nor, nor the price should be low. So how to fix a reasonable price so that the demand will be more and the profit should also be adequate. So fixing the selling price is one of the important area where the management will use marginal costing technique. Secondly, make or buy decision. There are many situations where a business, the management has to take a decision whether to make the component or buy it from outside. For example, a uh, a washing machine, a company producing washing machine, it will not produce each and every part used in the production of washing machine. There are many parts which the company will buy it from other companies, from other companies and fix in the product. Sometimes the management is confronted with the decision whether we should buy this component from outside or should we make it within the business itself. Now again, to take the decision whether to make it or buy it, this marginal costing technique is very much useful to the manager for taking the decision of make or buy. Key factor or limiting factor. Every business is confronted with a problem of key factor or limiting factor. That means every business will use a number of resources in the production and all the resources are not unlimited. Resources are limited, scarce. Now there is a problem. How to utilize the scarce resources? Example, one business is there. In this business, everything is there. Everything is in abundance. But the business is facing material shortage problem. The business cannot increase the activity because there is a shortage of material. The material shortage is called the key factor which stops the production, which limits the production. In another business, material is there, but the problem is regarding labor. There is a shortage of labor. Key factor is labor. It is obstructing. It is stopping the production. So how to take the decision when there is a shortage of labor, when there is a shortage of material? Another case is the company is having material, labor, everything, but they don't have the funds, capital. The business is suffering from shortage of capital. So capital is the key factor. So how to take the decision when there is a limiting factor? In all these key factor cases, limiting factor cases, marginal costing will help the management in taking the decision. Next one is effect of change in selling price. Normally what will happen if we decrease the selling price, the demand in the market will increase. If we increase the selling price, the demand in the market will decrease. So there is inverse relationship between price and demand. So how to, what is the effect on demand due to a change in price? Again, this uh, break even concept, marginal costing technique will be helpful to the management to find out the effect. 
maintaining a desired level of output <clears throat> the management has to take a decision at what level of activity the business should operate whether the business should operate in 80% 70% 90% or 100% capacity so in order to take the decision at what capacity level the business should operate marginal costing break even analysis will be very much helpful to the management next one is selection of a suitable product mix now it is many business houses they are not producing one product they are producing multiple product a b c d e five different types of products are manufactured but the management has to take the decision what is the mix of the product how many units of a how many units of b how many units of c like that the decision has to be taken the ultimate objective to maximize the profit this is called product mix problem again marginal costing will be very much helpful to the management in taking the decision of product mix next one is alternative methods of production there is not a single method different methods of production are there now management has to find out which method of production is more economical more suitable the selection of production method again marginal costing will be useful next one diversification of products <coughs> see multiple products if the business produces multiple multiple products diversified products then the risk of the business will come down if any one of the product is incurring loss the other products may get give the profit in this way the business can be able to survive if the business produces only one product then definitely if something goes wrong the business will collapse so business has to diversify the products again marginal costing will be useful then closing down or suspending activities sometimes the management is faced with the problem of shutdown of the plant or suspending the activities for a time period now in order to take the decision whether the plant should be continued or the plant should be shut down again marginal costing technique will be used next alternative course of action actually decision making means choosing from alternatives so management has so many course of action alternative courses of action among those alternative course of action one of the course of action has to be selected decision has to be taken so evaluating the alternative course of action again marginal costing is a handy tool in the hands of the management next one is level of activity planning at what level of activity the business should operate and lastly profit planning decisions in cvp analysis also we have discussed that cvp analysis is a profit planning technique which is used by the management so these are few application areas where the management will use the marginal costing technique cvp analysis in order to take the decisions so this is the complete theoretical part of cvp analysis in the next video inshallah i'll start the problems on cvp analysis so if you are satisfied with my lecture give a like to the video share my channel subscribe and lastly by the super thanks which is given below my video